Here are some natural ways to reverse blood pressure and diabetes. Now, high blood pressure and diabetes are serious health conditions that require medical attention and management. Nope, because there are natural ways that can help manage these conditions and even reverse them. That said, here are five natural ways to start reversing. One, intermittent fasting and or calorie deficit approach as it does improve insulin sensitivity which is a key factor in managing type 2 diabetes. And by reducing the amount of time spent in a fed state, intermittent fasting will actually help the body use insulin more effectively, leading to better blood sugar control. To adjust your sugar, processed and refined sugar intake. Uh, since they do cause a rapid increase in the blood sugar levels, it can lead to insulin resistance and coagulation, causing high blood pressure. So there is no point of causing a massive surge during the daytime as one of the major side effects is weight gain and feeling multiple crashes causing cravings which actually cause for more food intake. And switching to last meal of the day, insulin as being a hormone other than regulating your blood sugar levels, it will aid in recovery and better sleep. Three, HIIT training known as high intensity interval training that involves short bursts of intense activity followed by periods of lower intensity activity. For example, let's take either exercising outside or on a treadmill. A short high speed run of 30 seconds followed by a three minute walk. Make sure you are attempting to run at least four to five sessions. As HIIT training will increase nitric oxide production in return it does promote healthy blood flow and reduction in systolic over diastolic levels and make sure you attempt at least three times a week for high intake of potassium foods such as avocados almond pomegranate sweet potatoes as it does regulate the blood pressure maintain proper hydration and more and potassium lowers high blood pressure by counteracting the effects of sodium in the body so when sodium levels are high specifically if you are an individual who uses table salt, it's a big no because your body will retain water, which can lead to an increase in blood volume and pressure. So potassium will force sodium to be excreted through the urine, which decreases blood pressure. In addition, it does help relax the walls of blood vessels, allowing your heart to not overstimulate. That said, I see that lots of you use sea salt or Himalayan, but sometimes if you are purchasing, let's say, cheeses or other items from the grocery stores, most of the stuff is packed with regular sodium, specifically sauces and others. So keep an eye on what you buy. And five, natural supplements uh, would be cod liver oil, magnesium chloride, chromium, berberine, alpha lipoic acid, aged garlic, coenzyme Q10, hibiscus, cayenne, and hawthorn. It is super important to note that while these supplements are super helpful and they fulfill missing gaps in your diet, it doesn't mean that you could eat whatever you please. And if you know someone who is struggling to maintain a healthy blood sugar and blood pressure, please consider sharing this video and you can literally change someone's life. If my videos help you improve your health in a small way, please consider funding me a buck or two to continue helping you heal.